beautiful wife, Lady Tiffany Hodge. Then we'll have praise and worship. 
by the music ministry again. And then we have a friend interlude by Sister Charlie Esau in that order, please. Amen. 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 Thank you.
today because I know I can't make it without you. But I'm here on behalf of our beautiful First Lady and our wonderful Pastor Hodge. I is great pastor. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Amen. And all of those who are out on Zoom this morning, we welcome you this morning. And we thank you for joining us this morning on this anniversary Sunday, the 48th anniversary of our anniversary of the church and if you're in the house and you're visiting with us please fill out a visitor card we would love to uh, get your name and know who you are our pastor would love that so please enjoy the service and get into the service with us amen
Catholic Church of God in Christ, Ojin, was found on June 25, 1973, by Reverend Joseph D. Clements, Senior Reverend Clements. He arrived in Norwalk area in 1960 at the direction of late Bishop Charles H. Ewer, Senior. In 1973, Bishop, Bishop Brewer appointed Reverend Clemens to serve as a pastor of Holy Temple Coaching. Later, Reverend Clemens was led to plant Miracle Temple. During this period, that Reverend Clemens closely aligned himself and his ministry efforts with United Church of Christ, known as UCC, in which many UCC congregations opened their doors to Reverend Clemens and his growing congregation. In those days, the church held service at Rowayan UCC, first congregational church on the green and South Norwalk Congregational Church. Trinity Episcopal Church extended an invitation to Reverend Clemens and the congregation to hold services in its parish hall. While Reverend Clemens was completing his Doctor of Ministry degree at Hope Gate Rochester College, Trinity Episcopal Church was destroyed by a devastating fire in 1974. Reverend Henry Jordan, the pastor of First Congregational Church on the Green, encouraged Reverend Clemens to continue his doctoral studies and hold his service in his facilities until he was able to find a permanent location. In 1975, Miracle Temple purchased its current house of worship, the former Trinity Episcopal Church. The United Church of Christ assisted the congregation in financing the mortgage and rebuilding the facility. In 17, that's different. In 1779, there held its service in the lower level until it completed renovation and reconstruction in the main sanctuary. After 40 years of pastoring, Bishop Clement retired and on September 7, 2013, Dr. Jacob Kelly was selected and appointed to serve as pastor of Miracle Temple by Bishop Esther Boydo, the prelate of Connecticut's second judiciary, judicial coaching until his pastoral reassignment to Kelly Temple coaching in Harlem, New York in 2020. After extended search, process, earnest prayer, Reverend D. Bob, Hodge of Minneapolis was selected to serve as Miracle Temple third pastor. Reverend Hodge was officially installed as the pastor on Saturday, May 22nd, 2021 by Bishop James Bullings, the prelate of Eastern New York First Judicial Project. Thank you very much. Come on, let's all stand to our feet and give God some praise in this house. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, let's give it praise. Come on, let's give it worship.
lead this congregation to what God would have it to be and where he would have it to go. And so we thank God for every single one of you. Um, typically on a Sunday morning, I would stand to give some uh, pastoral observations. But on today, my observations are very minimal, seeing that we are actually at our church anniversary and Father's Day, and we've been announcing this up to this day. Um, but just uh, please give me a moment just to uh, say that uh, we're missing a couple people. Amen.